let's come to this new video session it's all about statement and conclusion so uh, this is the statement and conclusion with Venn diagram okay so a statement uh, three statements have been given here and the three conclusions have been drawn here okay based on the three statements you have to find uh, if each conclusion is okay or not okay or if each conclusion is right or uh, wrong so as I have already told in my previous video that uh, we need to draw two type of uh, Venn diagrams. One is basic uh, diagram, another is modified diagram. Basic diagram will be um, drawn from statement part and uh, the modified diagram will be drawn from conclusion part. Okay, so let's draw the basic diagram. So what the statement A um, tells us, all politicians are corrupt. So, uh, all politicians, let's this circle denotes all politicians and this is politician, this is corrupt. So, what is this? All politicians, sorry, this is corrupt or This is politicians. So as politicians, the politician circles are within the corrupt circle. So it's automatically we can draw, we can uh, state that um, all politicians are corrupt. And the statement A is drawn here okay now the statement B some politicians are honest so when it's all about some politicians so some politicians are honest so if the honest section is denoted as H so it's about some politicians so this is the part this particular segment <coughs> sorry is within the politicians part okay and from state, uh, statement 3 we can say that no leaders are honest so no lead no leaders are honest so leader will be a separate circle which have no relation with other three circles okay so that is basic diagram now denote now draw the modified diagram based on the conclusion part conclusion one tells us that some politicians are not leaders from basic diagram some politicians are not leader so obviously leader circle and politician circle are completely different to each other so conclusion one is correct or it follows now conclusion two tells us that all honest being corrupt, it's a possibility. Already I have told in my previous video when a possibility is a segment, so there is a obviously a possibility that two, three, three, four, five different type of um, characteristics like here uh, politician is a characteristics, honesty is a characteristics, leadership is a characteristics will be a um, they will share a particular region that will be called a common region in case of Venn diagram okay so all honest being corrupt all honest being corrupt obviously um, honest is a part of politicians and politician is a part of politicians honesty is a part of politicians and politicians are a part of 
corruption. So obviously honesty, there will be a notable relation between honesty and corruption. So conclusion to follows is correct. Now in case of conclusion 3, what's that? Some leaders are not corrupt. Some leaders are not corrupt. Now, some leaders are not corrupt. When leadership is a completely separate circle which has no relation with corruption, politicians and honesty. So, conclusion 3, is also a correct statement. Now, if we draw the modified diagram based on the three conclusions drawn, so the modified diagram will be like, this is leadership, this is corruption, this is honesty and this is politicians. That will be the modified diagram. Hope you have understood hope you have understood the <coughs> the logic I have drawn here, okay? Thanks for this particular video session. In in the next sessions I will bring more complex statements and conclusions with Venn diagrams to solve and I will show how to solve them. So for that many thanks for your patience and enjoy the learning session. Okay. Thank you.